Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to set up Ingabiz AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 range extender. So first and foremost, plug this extender near your router and wait for around 120 seconds until the device is powered on. Next, grab your phone or computer, then go to the Wi-Fi list. There, you will find your Wi-Fi extender showing up. It will come up as Wi-Fi extender hyphen XXX or Wi-Fi extender 5G hyphen some digits. You will be able to recognize your extender easily because it will be an open network that means without a password. So tap on it to connect to it. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL or address bar type 192.168.16.1 and hit enter. This will take you to the setup page of Ingabiz AX3000 extender. In case it doesn't, then make sure your phone or computer is connected to the default Wi-Fi network of the extender. On the login page, select your language followed by choosing between the extender mode and AP mode. So select extender mode. Next, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend and type its password for verification. So there, select your router's network SSID, then follow on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Once done, hit save settings and then you will see your extender will reboot. On successful setup, you will find your extender network again showing up in your Wi-Fi list. It will pick up the same name as your router's SSID with hyphen ext suffix. You can then connect your different devices to it. Moreover, during the browser setup, you can also customize your extender's network name as per your choice too. Just in case, if you want better Wi-Fi speeds from your Wi-Fi 6 extender, then you can also set this extender in access point mode. Watch video given in the description to learn how to do it. Plus, if your extender is not working or is not setting up, then we recommend you to reset it once. You can do that by pressing and holding the reset button present on the extender for around 5 to 10 seconds while it is plugged in into a power source. After 10 seconds, release the button and let the extender reboot for around 120 seconds. After this, you can try the setup again. Lastly, if you found this video helpful, then please do hit like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you.